Kenneth 14621, and I'm going to try and see if I can predict. I'm going to give you my predictions for the NFC East. Okay? And uh, number one, who's going to be number one in the NFC East? Well, this could go both ways. I mean, Eagles have a new coach, you know, uh, but when Zeke Elliott has been healthy all season, Cowboys won 14 games, you know, so. Uh, they had tons of injuries last year, the Cowboys, mainly on the offensive line. I mean, when Tyron Smith got injured, that defensive end, those defensive ends were getting to the quarterback every single play. Literally had to run out of the quarterback, out of the pocket every single play. We had the worst backup I've ever seen in my entire life. Even the announcer admitted, this is the worst left tackle I've ever seen in my entire life. So, But still... I'm going to have the Philadelphia Eagles first. When I look at their roster, they have Alshon Jeffrey at wide receiver. They have Mike Wallace. They have Nelson Aguilar. That's three really good wide receivers. Offensive line is okay. Then they have Zach Ertz at tight end. That's another doozy. Along with Carson Wentz at cornerback and Jay Ajayi and Darren Sproles at running back. So uh, that's... That's good. And then you look at their defense. They've got uh, Fletcher Cox. They've got uh, they've got Jordan Hicks. They've got uh, lots of guys. They've got Malcolm Jenkins at quarter cornerback. Ronald Darby and uh, Sidney Jones at cornerback. So when I look at their roster, I see a lot of good players, especially on offense. Their offense is really stacked. So I'm going to pick them to win the NFC East. And second place, I'm going to have the Cowboys. Now the Cowboys may not have as many good players as a lot of people think. And I know they lost Des Bryant and Jason Witten. But Jason Witten was, he made a few great catches, but he wasn't catching very many balls at all. So I don't think it'll be much of a drop-off because we're going to have some young, fast guy in there who can get open. Witten was too slow to get open at the end. Uh, and so was Des Bryant. Even though I think Des Bryant is going to hurt the team uh, leaving uh, still. Uh, so they've got Deontay Thomas at wide receiver or Michael Gallup. I think Michael Gallup might emerge as a star. He was one of our draft picks. And if he does, that'll help us re replace Des Bryant. Then we have Terrence Williams. He's an okay wide receiver. And we have Tavon Austin. And he's a burner. He may not be the best wide receiver, but when he does get the ball, he should score multiple touchdowns this year. And then we've got the offensive line. I'm going to name these guys because they're good. Tyron Smith, one of the best blockers in the league. And then we're going to put Connor Williams that we got that draft pick at left guard. And then we got Travis Fredericks, one of the best in the league. Zach Martin, one of the best in the league. Right tackle, we have Liddell Collins. Or Lael Collins. And uh, he did all right last year. He's about an average tackle, you know. So, uh, anyways, though. So, uh, and then we have Jeff Swaim at tight end. He should be fairly good. But one guy that we're keeping an eye on is Rico Gathers because he came in there and did really good when he was playing. Rico Gathers is like six foot eight, and he's a basketball player, so he can really go up and get them. Uh, then we've got Dak Prescott. You know, uh, as long as the offensive line stays healthy, we should be good with Dak Prescott. But we may not have as many good players as some of these teams, but we have Ezekiel Elliott which in my opinion is the best running running back in the entire league. You know, the number one rusher on the ground this year got 1,300 yards on the ground. Ezekiel Elliott didn't play the last two games the year before, and he got 1,600-something yards. So he would have had 1,800-something, maybe 1,900 yards on the ground two years ago. So that's going to help a lot, and he's been staying out of trouble. And see, another thing is defense. We have Demarcus Lawrence, one of the best, one of the leaders in sacks. 
Uh, our defensive line is always good because of Rod Marinelli. We got Malik Collins, David Irving. David Irving's got a suspension, but I'll tell you, with our line, one guy goes out, another guy comes in and fills his place and does really good. Because really all of our defensive linemen are good because Rod Marinelli. And then we have Tyrone Crawford. He's he's okay. Uh, then we have this Leighton Vander Esch. We'll see how he plays. Jalen Smith used to be beast in college, but he's had a, a knee injury. Then we have Sean Lee. He's a beast if we can stay healthy. Then we have, let's see here. And then we, you know, but anyway, so we, we got some uh, fair guys, but we have a pretty good defense. It's okay, you know. So, But with Ezekiel Elliott running the ball, and that awesome offensive line we have, you know, uh, all we have to do is get a little bit of production out of our passing game. So I've got the Cowboys second. And now the Redskins and the Giants, man, it's kind of a toss-up, you know. I really like the Redskins with Kirk Cousins, but now they don't have them. You know, uh, so... Uh, I'm looking at the roster right here. I don't think Alex Smith is going to be a very good fit for uh, Washington. I just don't. Uh, I might be wrong, but, uh, uh, you know, so, uh, but let me see who I'm going to pick, Giants or Redskins, to finish third. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and step out on a limb here, and I'm going to have, I know this sounds crazy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, have the uh, New York Giants. Mm. Yeah, I'll take the New York Giants ahead of the Redskins. So this one I'm really unsure about. But the reason why I'm going to take them is because they've got uh, Saquon Barkley that they drafted a running back in. You know what happened with the with the uh, Cowboys when they drafted Ezekiel Elliott the year before? They only won four games, and then boom, they win like you know fourteen games or whatever. You know, so. Uh, uh, but let's look at the uh, so let's look at the Giants roster. So they're gonna have Odell Beckham back and. Uh, uh, they, they've got Cody Latimer, and they've got Sterling Shepard in the slot. He's good. Uh, I don't know about their offensive lines. There's a few guys I know. Nate Soldier. Uh, 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 and then they've got, of course, they've got Eli Manning at quarterback. And uh, defense, they've got Vernon Oliver at uh, the Sam linebacker. And then they've got Alec Ogletree at inside linebacker. And they've they've got Eli Apple at cornerback. Liddell Collins at strong safety. I don't know why I know that guy. Janoris Jenkins at at other at the other cornerback. Uh, uh so I think that so there we go. There's the New York Giants. They're gonna be third and then the the Redskins are going to be fourth. They've got uh, Josh Doxson, Jamison Crowder. Uh, they got some guys on the offensive line. Trent Williams. Uh, they've got Alex Smith at quarterback, but he's not a gunslinger. That's the only thing that kept them in there was having a gunslinger at quarterback and Cousins. And so... Uh, uh, I don't know if their running back's going to do very good. And they've got a... Uh, uh, Ryan Kerrigan on defense. Orlando Skandrick. Uh, DJ Swanger, I've heard of him before. Josh Norman. So they're going to do all right, I think. But I just... I, I think the Giants with that running back is going to turn them around. So I've got the Eagles first. The Cowboys second. The Redskins... I mean, the Giants third and the Redskins fourth. And I'm going to pick the 
So uh, that's my uh, my predictions. Uh, I'm gonna put the Eagles at. I think they'll be eleven and four. I think the Cowboys will be ten and six. I think the Giants will be uh, eight and eight. Or well. Yeah, I'll say 8-8 eight and eight for the Giants, and then I've got the Redskins only winning, uh, let's say, seven games. So there we go. There's my picks for the NFC East. Thank you very much.